In India, the annual fish production has crossed the 5.9 million tons mark. In recent years, we have witnessed a tremendous increase in the catch of fresh fish all through the entire coast of India. This is due to the enhanced application of modern technologies in the field of aquaculture. If we look at the marine sector as a whole, nearby 20% of the total catch consists of low-value fish which does not find ready market for export. Central Institute of Fisheries Technology is a premier research institute under the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. It has regional research centers in different parts of the country which work on location-specific problems pertaining to fishing and fish processing technology. Fisheries is a major industry for the country today, earning more than 7,000 crores annually in foreign exchange and providing nutritious food and uh, employment for millions of rural poor. If the industry has come to what it is today, it is in no small measures due to the pioneering research efforts by this institute. The institute has, uh, is conducting extensive training programs as well as uh, educational programs also along with its normal activities. It is recognized as a referral laboratory in fisheries exports and other technical matters also. Value addition is a major problem for fisheries today and value added products from low value fishes is a priority area in fisheries research these days. CIFT has been doing pioneering work in this area and we have developed quite a number of uh, value added products from low value fishes which is going to be a big boon to the housewives also and we are going to popularize these products through uh, different popularization programs as well as by extension through consultancy programs also. Product diversification and value addition are the two most talked about terms in the modern fish processing industry. It's interesting to note that both complement each other to a great extent. Through continuous and comprehensive research, the scientists at Central Institute of Fisheries Technology have been able to develop and implement modern scientific technologies in this field. It's heartening to note that these technologies are sufficient to ensure that several diversified and value-added convenience products are all developed out of low-value fish. Over a long period of time, our lifestyle and basic food habits have undergone major changes. In today's society, time is the most precious factor and more and more people are turning to ready-to-cook or ready-to-serve food products. Demand for value-added products are significant both in the domestic as well as in the overseas market. Converting the abundant low-value fish into such products is the need of the hour. SIFT has developed three significant methods to process fish and marine products. They are standardization of ready-to-serve fish curry processed in retortable pouches, modified atmosphere packaging of fish for extending shelf life, and development of extruded products. National Agricultural Technology Project on development and popularization of modern technology for the production of convenience foods was undertaken by Central Institute of Fisheries Technology, Cochin. This project was funded by World Bank for a period of four years with a project outlay of 138 lakhs. The main objectives of the project are standardization of ready-to-serve fish products in retartable pouches, preservation of fish and fish products using modified atmosphere packaging, development of extruded products using low-value fish, popularization of technologies developed. Retort Pouch The ready-to-cook and ready-to-serve food products can be stored at ambient temperatures without refrigeration for a reasonable period of time. These products have tremendous market potential worldwide. 
There is no doubt that these products would gain popularity sooner than later. The major advantages of these products are that they are free from preservatives and biologically safe. CAFT has standardized a three-layer laminate consisting of polyester, aluminum foil and cast polypropylene for processing several ready-to-serve fish and fish products. The products in these pouches can be stored for more, uh, in very good condition for more than a year. And uh, these retortable pouches have several advantages. First of all, they have a very good mechanical property in order to withstand processing, storage and transportation conditions. And these pouches are of food grade and because of the thin profile, they can be um, reduction of 30 to 40 percent in processing time. These pouches are uh, gas proof as well as moisture proof, thereby the problem of rancidity and other subsequent problems will be minimized. And uh, these pouches um, can be stored, I mean, uh, can withstand very high temperature and also pressure, which is normally employed for heat processing. And um, the main advantage of these pouches is that they are cheaper compared to the rigid cans, thereby reducing the cost of production. These pouches are now manufactured indigenously and are available in the local market. Many packaging companies have ventured into the production of retort pouches. Premier Plus Pack Limited Coimbatore and MH Packaging Ahmedabad are such companies which manufactures flexible retort pouches employing the configurations standardized by SIFT and supplies them to various food processing units in the country. Conventional fish canning employs metal containers such as tin can, aluminum can, chromium oxide coated steel cans. These metal cans present a lot of problems. Uh, the tin plate used for making fish can is imported and for this reason uh, fish canning is not economically viable in our country. The other drawbacks are these cans are not easy opening. The internal lacquer coated inside also leach out into the product. Low water vapor transition rate, good mechanical strength and low gas permeability are the highlights of these pouches. Tote pouch products are thermal processed at high temperatures in order to destroy all pathogenic bacteria. However, due to anaerobic conditions within the pouch, there is a chance for the growth of heat resistant spores of Clostridium botulinum, which can produce toxin. Retort pouch products were tested for various microbiological parameters and were found to be commercially sterile and safe for human consumption. Ready to serve retort pouch products are fish products that are ready to use. These pouches can be simply immersed in hot water for a couple of minutes and the contents can then be served in a dish. Alternatively, the contents in the pouch can be transferred into a bowl and heated in an oven before serving. CIFT has standardized many ready-to-serve fish curries like sea fish moli, pearl spot moli, mackerel curry, sardine curry, fried mussel and prawn manchurian. We have also standardized some region-based curries like Govan curry, Bengali curry, uh, Punjabi curry, Amritsari curry, UP Mughlai curry and Oriya curry. SIF 
has transferred the retort pouch processing technology to many small and big private entrepreneurs all over India. Brito Exports in Tutukarin and Four Star Insta Foods Maharashtra are leading organizations in the fish processing industry and are such companies which has been set up in technical consultation with SIFT exclusively for the production of ready-to-serve fish products in retort pouches. In order to meet the huge demand for convenience foods, Brito Exports has standardized different varieties of fish products that are suited to different regions. The most welcome factor about these products is that they are free from any preservatives. At Brito, the ready-to-serve fish products are prepared under high hygienic conditions as specified by SIFT. In recent years, we have noticed the demand for the ready-to-eat foods, especially for uh, seafoods, is day by day increasing. So we have adopted CFT technology, uh, this ready-to-eat seafood, ready-to-serve retard poach fish and fishery products preparation. Now we have standardized Jaffna curry and Malabar Pran curry, Kerala fish curry, Shardin fish curry, mackerel fish curry and tuna based products. Modified atmosphere packaging Fresh fish is highly susceptible to spoilage due to post-mortem autolysis and microbiological changes. The high ambient temperatures of the tropical regions favor rapid growth of microorganisms. The most common methods of retarding microbial and biochemical spoilage of fresh seafood is storing them in ice or under mechanical refrigeration. However, as the ice melts, it tends to contaminate the fish which catalyzes spoilage and thereby reduces its shelf life. As there is great demand for fresh fish in places far away from the coast, 
There's an urgent need for an alternative method to extend the shelf life of fish. Modified atmosphere packaging is a method of preservation where the air in the pack is replaced with different gas mixtures to regulate the microbial activity and retard discoloration of the products. Modified atmosphere packaging has been developed in fact as a supplement to refrigeration or mechanical uh, refrigeration or supplement to ice to reduce the losses and to extend the shelf life of fresh fish products. The gases generally used for this modified atmosphere packaging are carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen. Carbon dioxide is a main gas responsible for reducing the bacterial load thereby extending the shelf life of fish. Optimum concentration of gas mixture required for different species of fish has been standardized by CFT to extend the shelf life during the chilled storage maintained at 0 to 2 degrees centigrade. The extension of shelf life in modified atmosphere packaged products is basically due to the inhibition of spoilage bacteria by carbon dioxide. These products must be stored at 0 to 2 degrees centigrade to prevent growth of hycrotrophic Clostridium botulinum. MAP products have been tested for microbiological parameters and found that growth of gram-negative bacteria was inhibited, whereas gram-positive bacteria dominated. Botulinum toxin was tested by mouse biosay in MAP products and found that no toxin was detected and products were found to be safe for human consumption. Fish is a perishable commodity, so the only known and available uh, means of preserving fish is by ice. But we had an interaction with CIFT, and CIFT has told us that uh, there is a process called modified atmosphere packaging, and we did some experiments with them, and modified uh, atmosphere packaging has proved that we can keep fish for about uh, almost twice as much longer than in the ice. And I think it is a very good idea to use that modified atmosphere packaging for the retail shops whereby you can keep this in a modified atmosphere and retain the freshness of the fish for more time than you can do it in ice. With the availability of MAP technology, fresh fish can be stored for longer period in chill condition and can be transported to interior places. This will fetch better returns to the fisherman and consumers will get good quality fresh fish. Extrusion Many small varieties of fish, which do not find ready market, are very often downgraded to curing purposes. This results in the wastage of valuable protein content. While assessing the importance of fish in human nutrition, minimizing this wastage is a major concern. In India, thousands of people are malnourished and wastage of protein-rich fish resources should be prevented. 
Mints mixed with cereal flour as the only ingredient in this process. Several types of dyes are used to vary the shape of products. Globally, there is a good demand for value-added products. Extruded fish products will help in meeting this demand and also in combating the malnutrition. Complete utilization of harvested catch will enhance economic returns to the fishermen. Extruded products being developed using low value ingredients will give better realization of value also for the finished products. In recent years, the development of extrusion technology for the production of convenience foods has received more attention in developing countries. The extrusion technology has a lot of advantages like versatility, low cost, better product quality, improved shelf life, etc which popularized the method for the production of expanded snack foods, baby foods, ready-to-eat cereals, etc. Developing extruded products incorporating fish and cereal flour is a viable solution to combat malnutrition in our country, especially in the rural areas. Ready to serve fish products have been standardized by CFT and are being popularized through various central state government and private institutions like Marine Products Export Development Authority, Punjab Agriculture University, Ludhiana, College of Fisheries, Central Agriculture University, Agartala, Government Polytechnic, Goa, Institute of Hotel Management and Catering, Goa. NRC for Cold Water Fisheries Bhimthal in Uttaranchal, NBFGR Lucknow and established fish exporters. For standardizing this retort poach technology for fish and fish products, CFT has backed ICR team award in the year 2002. With the availability of these technologies, we can make use of our fish catch for development of products, value added products for export as well as domestic market. Retort approach technology can be used for production of ready-to-eat products which are greatly welcomed by the working women. By modified atmosphere packing, which is called MAP, we can extend the shelf life of fish. This extruded products can be used for making products which can combat malnutrition. The fisheries industries in the country has been mainly export-oriented so far. The internal market has been by and large neglected. 
this is one thing which CIFT is trying to uh, rectify because value added products meant for the internal market is going to be the theme for the coming few years as far as the CIFT research is concerned. Uh, we have been uh, developing different types of products for the internal market as well as for the external market. The uh, retortable pouch products will be a very big uh, help for the working housewife to, uh, who, uh, for the convenience food is going to be the main thing for the future. And the modified atmosphere packaging is another technology which we have developed which will be developing, uh, which will be extending the shelf life of fish and fishery products which is meant for the internal market. Again, extruded products and similar products will be a big uh, step forward in extending, I mean, nutritional, uh, nut nutritive foods to the internal market, uh, interior parts of the country. Internal market, as I said, was uh, al has always been neglected in this country so far. So there is a vast uh, internal market which exists for fish and fishery products, which with this improved technology, we want to tap this uh, untapped market so far. As a result of continuous research, SIFT has been able to utilize the maximum availability of fish and pass on the benefits of this to the common man. In the year 2002, the prestigious Sardar Patel Award was conferred on SIFT for its excellence in developing technologies which brought in radical changes in the fish processing sector. Catering to the tastes of modern-day consumer, SIFT was able to develop such technologies which were instrumental in adding positive changes to our food culture. The tremendous increase in the production of value-added goods also made them more popular among people. Supported by eminent scientists with vast experience and knowledge in their respective fields, today Central Institute of Fisheries Technology is undoubtedly the final word in fishing and the fish processing sector.